I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. Now, Sagittarius, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Sagittarius, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. Just my reading some tarot cards to you, Saji. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you, Saji, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most and how because that's how I keep up with you guys is through the comments. And if you find a card that resonates with you, I would appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe, Sagittarius, because it does help out my channel a lot and i am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me and then finally saji this reading's here just to give you some perspective some food for thought as you go throughout your week i'm not here to make a decision in your life just something just doing this to give you something to think about and to consider as you go throughout your week as i said um, but with all that being said now let's get into your overall energy this week sagittarius we have the new moon in leo coming in for you confidence is the key to your success which it makes a lot of sense because it seems like uh did i call yeah no i almost freaked out sagittarius <laughs> i almost thought i called you leo but it's because of the new moon in leo um it makes sense to have that confidence is the key to success because i see a lot of success coming towards you it's um <laughs> i say this because we have the sun card and the chariot card coming in paired beautifully with one another which is really a beautiful pairing to have together especially for your overall energy sagittarius because it's like the sun card is the best card in the deck right you can't get better than this card and then we have the chariot card coming in where it's just like fast forward movement so you're very quickly going towards these blessings you're very quickly going towards your happy place right it sounds so cheesy but that's really like the sun card i view it as like being all encompassing having your cake and eating it too and really just being in this place where a lot of doors are opening up for you finally it feels a lot of things might you may just feel like things are finally starting to just work out for you Sagittarius it may not be immediately happening this week right but you may I feel like you're going to start getting some hints of it um being like okay you're like you're on to something being like okay like so just keep at this a little bit more but I don't see you having to wait too long because of this chariot card right Chariot is always the representation, Sagittarius, of fast forward movement in the right direction as well. So if we're going to read in between the lines, which is what we have to do with Chariot, right? Um, the Chariot only comes in when you are on your right path, uh, Sagittarius, right? The Chariot doesn't isn't brought forward to you if you're going down the wrong path, making the wrong decisions, because all that's going to do is take you down, down that path further. And if it's wrong, then you wouldn't be going towards your sun. Right. So for my Sag Sagittarius, if you feel like you've been you're like you're in the wrong place, if you're doing the wrong thing, um, take this as an affirmation that you are absolutely on the path towards success. Right. Remember that new moon in Leo confidence is the key to your success. Right. New moon is the representation of new beginnings. So um, definitely, even if you can't, even if it doesn't make sense to you right now, Sagittarius, have faith because things are really going to start uh, speeding up for you. A lot of good things are going to be start happening to you. For I keep on getting it and I want, wanted to avoid saying it just because it sounds so condescending. At least I see it as being condescending. Um, but with, it almost feels like the universe is tossing you a bone, right? And I feel it, it's kind of, it sounds condescending just because it's just like, well, why do you need a bone? To like, who are you to toss like a bone, right? That's how I view it as. So it's just like, I always feel self-conscious when I see that type of imagery come up, but it does, I feel like it's more so just signifying like you guys have just been going through a pretty rough transition or rough phase. And it's starting to look like that already because it makes sense rather. Um, because I pulled cards for your career. Now, the starting card that we have for your career, Sagittarius, is the Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands deals with conflict, of matters of conflict. It could involve other people as well, competing goals where you're fighting with other people to get the same thing. But I don't really see it in that way. Maybe it is relevant in that way for you, Sagittarius. But I see this more so as just like... <sighs> 
if you're working on a team, it's something that I'm getting. It's kind of like getting everyone on the same page, working towards the same thing, um, getting everyone motivated, perhaps. And maybe that's what's been draining you because you've been trying to motivate everyone else in your life. And it doesn't, it leaves little motivation for you, um, for your life, Sagittarius. But um, it also just is like the representation of probably giving me an idea, Sagittarius, that for probably a while, I'm getting that your work situation just hasn't been all that pleasant to deal with. Um, whether you are self-employed or dealing with other people, it just is like the five of wands is more so the representation of just like obstacles, um, just bumped on the road and just all that, right? But you're overcoming it, right? I see this very happening. Uh, because you have the sun following you as one of the clarifiers right so it's just like for my Sagittarius's that have been stressing about their career that have been stressing about their finances um this five of wands this block in the road this blockage isn't going to be for too much longer so persevere right I don't feel like I need to continue on with that card explaining it because we just talked about the sun. Uh, the next card that we have for you is the justice card. The justice card, Libra energy. I just, it has no relevance at all, Sagittarius. I just like to say it because I'm a Libra. So I always will make note of it. But with this justice card, things coming into balance. So if we're going to regard this to social situations, Sagittarius, of where... Um, it feels like maybe not everyone's putting in their full work, uh, full doing their part in the group project, perhaps, right? We know when, for my Sagittarius, is if you've been, whether you were in school, you still are in school. You know, we all hate those group projects where we have to rely on other people to get something done, to get the results done, to get to where we need to be. And it feels like it's almost at this place where you're just like bringing it into balance where it's either like you motivate them or are you just taking this as a sign to just like let them go and be like, okay, I need to just like do this on my own, right? I need to just do this whole project by myself. Um, we have the Eight of Swords coming in here, where it does feel like for those that are in like a social situation, they feel trapped in it, where they or they feel stuck in it. And there is, I can't help but feel like there is like this sense of wanting to just get out of it, right? Now again, I'm not here to make a decision in your life. I'm just here making like an observation where it's just like I see in your energy, Sagittarius, someone really passionate, someone like really motivated, um, but it just seems like their outside environment is what's weighing them down. A little bit a little cameo from tulip um it's interesting though and there's whatever that justice looks like to you and if it is involving people um maybe it is just like getting them back on track or maybe it is doing justice bringing balance to things where you just go out on your own a little bit for my sagittarius that are being it's more solo i'm taking this more so as a getting back on track for you know, maybe Sagittarius, you've been slacking a little bit. Um, you know, you've been breaking your routine perhaps a little bit. Um, you know, if we're going to be a little bit, um, I might step on some toes here, but we're all human. We all do it sometimes. We all, we might get a little bit lazy, right? Um, the best way I can use as an example is just like, maybe you've been like working out for a long time and then um, you've had just like a slip up or like you had a couple days that you missed and those couple days turned into a couple weeks and so on and so forth. So you associate it to your career. Um, maybe you haven't been working as hard as you once were just because of that bump on the road, just because of that five of wands that kind of like deterred you, slowed you down and like probably kind of made you feel a little bit defeated um, as well with that eight of swords. And it makes sense as to why spirit keeps on bringing forward the sun card for you, because it's like they're really trying to promise to you that it's like it's not permanent. Like things are really like it keeps hearing like chin up. Back of the deck energy, eight of pentacles coming in for you, Sagittarius. So con this does talk about contracts. Um, so maybe in terms of like your work, I do see um, your work situation feeling a little bit more solidified this week. Your finances and stuff feeling just a little bit more solidified back into balance. So if the things have just felt like it's been up in the air for you, um, I feel like you're definitely going to be getting um, some reprieve on that. So we're going to close off that row now, Sagittarius, and we're going to get into your social situation now. See what's going on in your social life and the people around you. <laughs> I was... I've been doing this for every single reading, Sagittarius. My gosh, <laughs> you can't see it, but I just had a bunch of tarot cards just fly out. 
uh, I've been fasting for the past couple of days, so it's because of that I don't really have a good grip on my cards right now. You may also even notice, Sagittarius, because I, I pointed out now, just in case someone else does, you might just notice, Saggy, that whenever I hold up these cards, it might be a little bit shaky, but <laughs> I promise you it's okay. Uh, okay, let's get into this now for your social situation. Are these cards coming in, come out? Okay. All right, Saji. So we have for your social situation, I'll be pulling clarifiers, of course, but we have three of pentacles and the ace of wands, collaborative energy. I dare I say, I feel like your social situation is kind of related to your career as well. I feel like um, it's like you and your friends are doing like a group project. And with this ace of wands, it's forward motivation as well, uh, forward movement. Um, it is very much so motivated energy uh, where it's just like, Again, it almost just feels like this motivation just comes in once you start getting like a taste of success, a taste of happiness with this person, even if it's not in regards to work, just like a taste of being like, oh, like it's just some positivity, right? It feels like for us, a lot of you Sagittarius is you've needed some positivity in your life right now. Ten of Cups comes in as the first clarifier, which is a beautiful card. I do feel like you guys are coming together, closer together this week, Sagittarius. Um, and it makes sense, especially for those that are working in some type of group project, because it's like, I don't know, I just feel, I just keep on hearing like a coming together of something. Now, this did just pop in my head, but I don't know if you recently just got into like a little bit of a tiff with some people in your life, Sagittarius. And maybe this is just the week where it's just like you guys are finally coming back together um, and mending wounds. I worded that weirdly, but being able to just come back together without hurt feelings, Hierophant comes in. Yeah, like it just seems to be like uh, everyone, like I see the Hierophant as being connected to your higher self. So it seems like people had to like think things through, um, think about it from different perspectives, understand it from each other's perspectives and just kind of like, how would we put this Sagittarius? It's almost just like, kind of like holding yourself accountable. And I feel like it's all parties holding themselves accountable and being like, okay, like we need to do this and this. Because again, it is under that umbrella with the three of pentacles signifying to me where it's just like you doing something with another person. And I kind of want to say persons. I feel like it's more than one person, such a terrorist that this is addressing. It just feels like everyone's finally just like deciding to like be a, be an adult in the situation and just go forward practicing good boundaries perhaps that was like the issue before if there was an issue is where it's just like there wasn't enough boundaries in place there wasn't so misunderstandings happened um but the queen of swords also gives in a lot more structure almost as if as if almost as if someone had uh had to like accept that another person like accept that the other per like another person in involved uh is going to be needing to be the adult in this situation i keep saying adult in this situation but i'm not implying that someone's like immature it just feels as if like someone has to be like the level-headed or come off as like the potential bad guy maybe other people are seeing you as like the bad guy and being strict perhaps sagittarius and now like through connecting to your, like through the heart like it's almost as if people like everyone's just kind of coming to realize that we're all on the same team right uh, so beautiful setup with that. Definitely let me know what that's about, Sagittarius. I'm really interested in hearing about what's going on here. A lot of pop it, I really just feel like you guys are working on some type of project together, um, with that Three of Pentacles. But it is just like a bunch of energy of just coming together after just a little bit of a misunderstanding, but a lot of forward movement as well with that Ace of Wands. So very good very good so let's get into the, just general messages now from your spirit guides archangels whatever it is that you choose to subscribe to right let's see what's up with that page of wands comes out new passion new passion project new beginning um i feel like this is more so just talking about the energy of things so it feels like you're coming into this week with like a brush of fresh air fresh <laughs> what it was that a breath of fresh air page of wands i just feel as if it's like a reinvigorated re uh remotivated i just feel yeah i just keep on hearing like motivation you just like back to like you're just feeling extremely motivated again to get back to work get back to creating get back to your life uh we have two of swords coming in here guarded energy a little choice needing to be made i see this as a fork in the road um, almost with this four of pentacles, it's almost just like a, hmm, 
yeah, I just kind of feel like this is like the energy where you were at before Sagittarius. I feel like before you were in just like this guarded place, not really wanting to make a move on anything because for whatever reason, whether that was just because you don't want to make the wrong choice on something or whether you just wanted to just like wait it out or just bide your time or you just, you just lacked the motivation for a while, right? But then you have this four of wands coming in here, which is a beautiful complimentary card because it's like, you kind of just realize that it was like nothing was stopping you and like that you were already on like the right path like you're already doing good things i don't know it just feels like sagittarius you kind of just woke up to realizing like how good you're doing in your life maybe you're being really hard on yourself for a while sagittarius and it's because you've just been beating yourself up and being really hard on yourself that um it kind of like slowed you down a little bit and now with this four of wands that 11 11 card this knight of cups i just see something com coming into your life whether it's a person or whether it's just an opportunity um coming in that really reignites you that really reignites your spark reignites your motivation um and has you in a place of feeling extremely passionate extremely inspired to just go forward right i'm gonna pull a singular moon card uh, let's see if i can not have these cards go flying for you as well um, see what we can have for the closing thoughts. Full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaching. I'm glad I pulled this card because that's literally what I was saying before, Sagittarius. It just feels like you're ending a tough cycle and you're just now being like, okay, like you can just breathe now. You Maybe you just feel lighter and you're just being like, let's go. It's time for action. I feel like you're just ready to create. You're ready to have success. You're just ready for all aspects of your life to just be full, like have all your cups filled and overflowing. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Sagittarius. So yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Saggy. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then also share my videos with a friend, Sagittarius, if you think they might be into my messages as well. Until next time though, Saggy, I love you so much. Bye.